business is all about one thing. I'm not really sure what one thing, but uh, it's money or, or profit. Uh, maybe the customer providing solutions. You know, in all my years consulting in business, if there's anything at the core of business, it's metaphors. I worked with a guy who had a metaphor for every meeting, every situation, every project. Hey, it's like we're building a house and, and we have the blueprint and then we need to do the foundation and start putting up the walls. And, no, 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 I mean, it's like we're, we, you're making a cake and we have a recipe and take the ingredients and mix it together. Anyway, but all those metaphors went to hell just as the project went off the rails. And it was like we were being driven in a car by Hunter S. Thompson on mescaline with E.E. E. Cummings and Frank Zappa in the back seat. Except it wasn't really a car, it was more like a spiral shell-like structure collapsing in on itself and we weren't really on a road it was more like we were in a six-dimensional non-euclidean space that's another thing business does it confuses things and fucks things up you ever hear this one around sales or coming up with creative ideas well you know we just keep uh, throwing shit against the wall and see what sticks how's that for an image picture this we're sitting in a room with a pile of feces now that by itself is pretty bad, but don't stop there. For some reason, we're just throwing feces at the wall, and it doesn't stop with the throwing. You see, if it sticks, that's a success. And if it doesn't stick, that's a failure. I mean, I don't know, you think we're setting the bar a little low here? Here's one for Team Dynamics. It's like we're the four blind men and the elephant. You know, four blind men approach an elephant. One of them touches the tail and says, oh, it's like a rope of some sort. And another one touches the leg and says, no, it's a tree. And the, another one's at the trunk and says, no, it's a hose. And another one's on the side and says, no, it's a wall. Oh, yeah, we all need to work together and be teamwork and cooperate. Yeah, yeah, right, okay. You ever stand near an elephant? I mean, you think the blind men standing next to each other, one of them wants to say, you smell an elephant? It smells like an elephant in here. Jesus Christ. There's one metaphor so overused, so hackneyed and blunt. It really is like a metaphor for all of business. Thinking outside the box. Where do we begin? Let's review. Let's start with the box. Hello, why don't we just say thinking outside the prison? Where do you work? In a cube? In an office with a door? It's a box. And where is your office? In a building, another box. And how did you get to work? In a car or a bus or a train? Another box. And what do you spend your time looking at? Eight and a half by 11 paper, 11 by 17? What about on your screen? You have a monitor, that's another box. And on the screen are windows and, and you have slides and PowerPoint and cells and spreadsheets and tables and bar charts, rectangles. Go ahead, make them pie charts. It doesn't matter, it's all boxes. Well, okay, okay, they want us thinking, they want us thinking, just thinking outside the box. Okay, but, okay, but like, you know, if I'm thinking, I'm in, I, 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 and I'm in the box, I have to close my eyes, you know, because if I'm thinking, I gotta close my eyes. Okay, I'm thinking outside the box, you know. I'm really thinking way far away, and now I'm floating. I, I rise in the lotus position out in front of the office, and I have on flowing robes and a turban with the company's logo on it, and, and everyone comes out, and they're pointing at me, and they're like, look, look at that guy with the sheets, and they, he's floating inexplicably, and I stand, and I say to them, people, listen, leave the box, cut the box, get the box cutters, and run, you are free to go, and people scatter like, like kids on the last day of school, and I smile, and with a wave of my hand, I transform the company's products into perfect sustainable, instantly recyclable, wholesome, pure goodness. And people buy these products because they are so wonderful and everyone volunteers and helps one another and not because the company matches their donations. No, because they love the company and the products and there are no real profits and every cent made is given away in a ridiculously simple cycle of mutual global love and everyone finally understands and there is nothing better and it is all good and I have changed the world and business forever. You know, you know, maybe, maybe thinking outside the box isn't so bad after all. <laughs>